Yes. Where are you? Stand if you think it's you. Stand if you even don't think it's you. You have very pretty toenails. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I come from a space of love. Clearly. Um, my question today is about my gift and um, learning from this conference I want to operate from what I have learned which is to trust to honor to love and to vibrate from positivity um, but in the past I've struggled with um, doubt and fear well and that's not a bad thing that means your emotions are alive and well we would never want someone to say to us I never feel fear or I never feel doubt because that would mean they were numb to their guidance system in other words when you're look when you're looking right at something you don't want of course that's the way you're gonna feel you know why because the source within you is not looking at something you don't want and when you do you cause a separation too strong a word way too strong a word but you introduce resistance into the equation you see so all is well <laughs> and it's nice to say at one time I, I felt a lot more negative emotion than I do now but now I'm pointing my thoughts much more in the direction of who I really am I'm tuned in to who I really am more often that's what you're saying to us and that's what we're feeling from you so what are you talking about your gift well um, I'm a graduate student um, pursuing my doctorate finishing my master's as well and I'm also a mother became a mother at 18 I have two daughters one is now 10 and I find it hard to write academically and to complete my thesis and dissertation while trying to operate from a nurturing mothering space as well, well as a we're going to give you something here and you're going to hear this so easily because you sat down beautiful toenails and all and you said I come from love and it's clear to us and then you began speaking about things that have been bothering you and we want to say you can't come from love and speak about things that have been bothering you at the same time the problem is a different frequency than the solution so and don't feel bad about it because everybody's doing it we just want you to be aware that that you are a sort of like most people hodgepodge of vibration and you can do a better job of pointing yourself in the direction of what you want but you don't do it all at once you can't be someone who's been aware of the world and focusing upon what's going on and letting those things train you into a vibrational pattern and then all of a sudden change that vibrational pattern it's a gradual thing but the important things are already in place you know who you are and you know what you want and you know what your emotions mean so when you talk about wanting to do all the studying that you need to do and writing the things that you need to write and being the nurturing mother that you want to be we want to say to you yes you want all of those things but you don't want all of them in the same moment in time 
In other words, you don't want to be writing your dissertation at the same time that you're counseling your child about something. There are different segments in your life experience. We visit with so many people who are on their way to creating something magnificent. Maybe it's a relationship, maybe it's a business, maybe it's a, a, a foundation of some kind. And what they frequently say to us is, I have this dream that I want to pursue, but I can't do it because I'm having to work 40 or 60 hours a week. I'm bogged down in the details of my life. They're telling us all the reasons that they can't do it. And we say to them, you know, we watch Esther, we watch Reverend Michael, we watch so many of these, these masterful receivers and creators, and we notice that they segment intent. In other words, they, they set aside time that they're going to focus on one thing or another. But this is the most important thing that we want to say to you. You'll hear it easily. Whether we're talking about your mentoring of your children or your tending to the details of their life, or whether you're talking about this, this study that is so important that you have to accomplish under certain guidelines and during certain time restraints. This is, this is what we want you to hear. Make no effort unless you're in the vortex. And when you're in the vortex, it'll be fast, it'll be quick, it'll be effective, it'll be easy. You see. What happens to most people, they're outside the vortex struggling. They don't have good timing. They don't have good sense. They, 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 they're making lists and carrying them around. They're overwhelmed and, and complaining about how much they have to do. And we say, you've got this enormous, enormous leverage of alignment that most of you aren't even beginning to utilize. The other day, Esther got hold of a little piece of information, something to do with their website that was momentarily upsetting to her. And she felt some guardedness coming up in her. And then she sat and just listened to the meditation CD and relaxed and breathed. And the first words she heard us say were, when you are in the vortex, there is no reason to be guarded. And when you are guarded, you cannot be in the vortex. So what we're saying to you is, when you're in the vortex, you got time for everything. And when you're not in the vortex, don't even try. <laughs> Get in the vortex first. So, so how, how would that, we, we know, and we'll wrap this up very quickly. How, how do you know? How, how is the best way to get in the vortex? So you start, let's start in this specifically negative, uncomfortable place. I have too much to do. My kids are out of control. Nobody's paying any attention to me. Nobody's helping me. I don't have any support. I've got all of these things to do. I've got to write this paper. Nobody knows what it's like for me. Specifically negative and feeling really, and we could go on. But then you catch yourself in the middle of that and you say, oh, I need to get more general. Well, this too shall pass and I've been here before and most of this stuff doesn't even need to be tended to right now and, and dust keeps unless you get it wet and, 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 and all, all is really well in my world and I'm figuring it out and it's going to be okay and, and, I, and I have a cooperative universe that's helping me and look how far I've come and I'm really excited about all of this and oh how I love these kids and they, they breathe life into me and look at them they are so uh, abundant with the resources of well-being and, and they teach me in every day and if I would just pay attention to them and feel the fun that they're feeling and all is really well for me and I know that I can do this and I don't have to do anything this red hot minute I just have to come into alignment and I know that I set this into motion my kids and all of this education before I even got here into this body. And so I've been, it's, everything's in perfect alignment. Source has been gathering all the cooperative components. And all I have to do is just chill and let myself be one of these cooperative components. And the most important thing I want to remind myself, we're speaking from your point of view, is this is all supposed to be fun. This wasn't supposed to be a struggle. It's supposed to feel good to come into alignment. I love it when a new piece of clarity comes. I love it when I'm sitting and writing this paper. And all of a sudden I feel insight come to me that I've been gathering up for a while and I feel the perfect perfect words flow through me as, as I put it on the page and I know that I've nailed it the first time I don't have to go back over it and do it again and again and again and at the perfect time my little kids will come in they'll be there at the right place at the right time everything that I need is always available to me this is going to be the best period of my life experience I'm so excited about this time good time for segment of refreshment